All right, so next thing we have coming up here, we've got something called a baby dedication. This is the time that we get to, um, to us as a church, stand beside some families that have been given the gift of a child, but then also those who, parents who have been given a child who have that responsibility, that opportunity, that we get to see who they are and, and, and encourage them and stand behind them, and that they get to make a commitment to raise their children up in a way that honors God. So we got four families this morning. If you guys wanna go ahead and make your way up here um, with your lovely new child, um, I want to talk a little more about what this is. I see one coming, two coming, three. So you guys come all the way up here. Come up here where everybody can see you. All right, so baby dedication, the idea here. Um, the, the, what we're doing is one, celebrating these families, celebrating these new lives. But in, in addition to that, like I said, it's a commitment. Um, this is something that is not a commitment. You guys still have been to light just a little bit so you could be seen. As soon as you can't see them, that means they can see you. That's kind of how this works. Awesome. All right. So, so the, the Bible talks about all kinds of responsibilities and things about the life of a believer, what it means to, to follow and love Jesus and how we can take the things that happen in everyday life for everybody, for all people, and do them in a way that honors God. And one of those things is raising kids, raising a child. It's a responsibility that God, who is perfect and awesome, gave us a piece of his creation and gives us broken people a responsibility and an opportunity to, to speak into that and to train up and to, to be so involved. Here we go. Come on, you were already on stage. You shouldn't be the late one. That's all right. That's all right. Let me continue to get out of the way here. Okay. So, so with this responsibility, the, the, the Word of God is so full of information and, 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 and advice and how to go about this. I've got a couple of verses that I want to read. Um, but the commitment that, that these, these... I'm getting told what to do. All right. There we go. I'm in the light. So, um, so in, in the Word of God, with so much that is there, that as, as you guys are parents and you're, you're leading your children and training them up, there's not a verse that's going to tell you how to do it. Um, there's not a handful of verses that are going to tell you how to do it. It's the Word of God and a lifestyle of living for God that's going to gonna guide you and lead you in how to do that. But a couple of verses I did pull out um, just to, to speak to this, this idea. Proverbs 22, 6 says, Train up your child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. The idea of, of training up your child in, in the ways of the Lord, in this lifestyle of, of living by the word and being in the word and, and being godly people and training up in that way. And then as they get older, doing the same. In Ephesians 6, 4 is a passage that talks about different characteristics and roles of people in the church. And it says, fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in discipline and instruction in the Lord. Yet another place where it's another piece of information that we get from God on how to do that, just to kind of to, to cover it all. Colossians 3, 23 says, work willingly at whatever you do as though you're working for the Lord rather than for people. So just a as believers, that's what we're supposed to do with everything that we do. But this is just a, an extra special time to do that. I'm really thinking that my job here, I'm not raising up a child that the world's going to like. I'm not raising up a child that's going to have lots of friends. I'm raising up a child that is going to fear God, that is going to live in a way that honors him and pleases him. And we do that by being an example. So with this time, and this is, is you guys as an opportunity to make a commitment to do that. In a minute, I'm going to pass you already got it. Daniel's going to have a mic. So I'm going to give you guys an, an opportunity to introduce yourself, uh, your spouse, and your child. You can just pass that mic down, and then we'll continue on. So go ahead. All right. Can we hear me? There we go. All right. My name is Daniel Spear, and this is my wife, Jennifer, and this is our new little girl, Maggie Lynn. My name is Josh Thorne, and this is my wife, Stephanie, and my daughter, Arabella, and my son, Asher. Hi, I'm Caleb Elias. This is Jim and I, my girlfriend, and this is Alexander, our son. I'm Jeff Williams. This is my wife, Audrey Williams, and our son, Eli, and then our new son, Abel. All right, thank you guys for sharing that. So just now I handed them each a certificate. We also have a gift for each of you. Um, one of them I was able to give them before they come up here. So this is um, the Jesus Storybook Bible. Um, I do not have kids, um, so I have not read much of this particular Bible. Um, but everybody that has it loves it. My brother and his wife have it um, with, with their girls, and I, I've heard nothing but great things about it. It really is. Um, they're, they're the straight-up Bible stories. They're, they're illustrated um, in a fantastic way, and it really is an awesome resource. So for you guys as 
families to have these, um, to, to work through them, to read through them with your kids. Again, an aid, a resource that we can give you as a church to, to do exactly this, to train up your child in a way that honors God. Um, so now the next thing we are going to do up here, we as in you guys, um, is agree to a commitment that, that as, as a family that you are committing to, kind of like a wedding, I'm going to say to you guys, agree and commit as a family to train your child up in the ways of the Lord. You'll say we do, and then we get to respond and play our role. So, so we're not going to have nearly the impact that these parents are going to have on these kids, but you are going to have an impact. Us being a church family, us being around them, we have a responsibility um, of being an example and being a light, and, and not just an example to the child as they're growing, but to help these families out, to stand alongside them when they're struggling or when, when they need help. And that's where life groups come in in so many ways that we get to pour into these families from the outside. So we're going to make a commitment as well in doing that. So do you guys as parents uh, make the commitment to train your child up in a way that honors God? Awesome. And us as a congregation, do we commit to standing beside them and behind them in that process? There you have it. So with that being said, without further ado, I now pronounce you parents. That's not how that works. Um, But what I am going to do is pray for us. I'm going to pray for you guys as parents, for us as a church, and also for the offering, which is what we're going to do coming up here next. So bow our heads. God, we thank you so much um, for who you are and how much you love us as individuals, God. And you, you love us and trust us enough to, to give us lives to take care of, God, to give us children to, to impact in such a deep way. Um, God, whether that's directly as parents like these folks on the stage here, or just as a church, God, that we get to see children uh, rise up and be trained and taught um, and educated and, and just encouraged to, to lead in, in, in the community, God, in our church. We have the opportunity to do that right now, um, God, to make the commitment to do that in a way that honors you, that, that you know, we, we want to be responsible what you give us. And then with that, you give us more. God, help us to be responsible, God, responsible as parents, responsible as adults, responsible as believers um, to do our part in training up the next generation and being a godly generation. God, I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you for what you're doing in our church. God, now as we collect the offering, help us to, to use this to continue to, to achieve this mission of training up the next generation, of reaching the, the current generation. God, and seeing lives be changed by you. We thank you for everything you're doing. Pray all this in your name. Amen. Thank you guys so much. You can have a seat.